first major world politician apologizes to the unvaccinated. What year is it? It's 2023. We damn near done with 2023. If this is accurate, I think it is. The first major... I did hear another apology for somebody. I think it was a doctor. I did a segment on that, I believe. First major world politician apologizes to the unvaccinated. The first, October 2023. Why is, or is that when that happened? I, I think that's when it happened. Why is it taking so long? And the apology, that's not enough, but it's a start. Daniel Smith, the premier of Alberta, Canada. Is that like a mayor? I'm, I'm very ignorant in Canadian politics. Is the first major elected, I apologize, I think I hit a wire. Is the first, that's not good. That means I'm going to short out or something. The first major elected politician in the world to issue a heartfelt apology. One, two, yep. To the unvaccinated for crimes perpetrated against their human rights by the government during COVID lockdowns. She says, I'm deeply sorry. The first step is, I know it's not enough, I know it's not substantial, but this is the first step. This could be the first step, unless you just jump to substance. So I will take this as a first step. I wanna hear you one more time, Daniel Smith. The community that faced the most restrictions on their freedoms in the last year were those who made a choice not to be vaccinated. I don't think I've ever experienced a situation in my lifetime where a person was fired from their job or 